everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampitCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks for joining me for another video today. Today we are going to do an adorable little Christmas treat holder. It's right here. It's actually holding a K-cup with some Mexican hot cocoa. I love anything with um, drink mixes. So the reason I like these K-cups is because any hot chocolate or cappuccino um, K cup can be used just as a, it's just a mix. So you can peel this off or open it up and dump it into a cup of hot water or hot, hot milk and it makes it. You don't have to have a Keurig machine or a coffee machine to make these. These are just a mix in there. Because when you run it through the K cup, then it's completely empty. So you can take this out and mix it yourself. So I ordered these on Amazon. It's Mexican hot chocolate. You Because I wanted something a little different, but you can do regular hot chocolate or cappuccino as well. So I'm gonna show you how to make this little treat holder. And we are using the Christmas labels bundle because it has, it says, it's a hot cocoa day. Love it. That, that's one of the reasons I bought this bundle but it also has really great labels. Uh, so um, I've used, I think I've used all of these or most of them and, and I'll probably use the rest of them before the end of the season because these are great. Um, anytime I see something with hot cocoa or cups, uh, I'll get it. Now this is the Latte Love Dyes. This is an online exclusive, but I, I wanted these. First of all, any, any coffee set we have, I'm gonna get it. But this one I um, is perfect for this because it has two of these little coffee cups and they have handles on the opposite end so they make a great pair. And then it has a little die that cuts out two little things of coffee that we can put in there. Or hot chocolate, that's what we're gonna say. So I did that already just to save a little time. And then I've cut out one of the labels this is the one that coordinates with this. It's, it's a hot cocoa kind of day, so it has a big center and then it's two smaller ones. So it also works for Merry Christmas to you and celebrate the holidays in all the ways. So um, three of these will go on here on this particular die. Okay, so to make our little holder, this is two by 11, so you can get four of these out of a sheet of cardstock. And I went with Pool Party because I'm using the little, I think it's Nest of Winter designer paper because it has the little dots and snowflakes. So cute. Okay, so I've scored this at four and a half and six and a half. That gives me two inches, a two by two place to put my little K cup. And then I'm going to use the Snowflake Punch. This is in a carryover from the annual catalog. I apologize if my camera shakes. Okay, so it punches out this great snowflake on either side. And then we just fold that up. And then we're going to adhere our designer paper to one end. And this is, I'll put the measurements on my blog uh, because this is um, one and three quarters by something. I don't know what probably three and three quarters, but not positive, so don't quote me. I will post measurements on the blog. All right, so I'm gonna attach that there, and then let's do our stamping. We're gonna use Pool Party ink, and did I get my stamp out? No, it's a hot cocoa. Oh, let's find the one we're using right here. Cocoa kind of day. I'm gonna put that on a block. You want to make sure it's nice and inked well since this is one of the lighter colors. You could also do red, um, which would look good on here. But I want to get I have it down a little low. I could not see what I was doing because I didn't get my head in there far enough. But if I tilted a tiny tiny bit, that would have been up more. That's okay. We're gonna go with that. All right, let's grab a couple of dimensionals, some larger ones. I'm just gonna get two and closer to the middle because this will hang over a little bit outside of our 
outside of our thing. So I'm gonna put this, you can do it straight or I may do it a little angle. That's kind of fun. And then we're gonna pop up our, I can't pick these up. <laughs> I'm gonna pop up our little cups. And I do maybe this one going this way. And then our other one. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe, maybe go in this direction. Okay, now we need to adhere these. Let's just use a little bit of liquid glue. It's very small. I'm gonna just see if I can just do the smallest little, little line right there. And let's grab, grab our pick tool and use the putty end to pick that up and stick that on. Get that in place and that can dry. All right, now I am going to do a little bit of embellishing and I have these snow, uh, loose white snowflakes or white loose snowflakes. And these, you know, our peppermints are out of stock. Our rhinestones are out of stock. There's quite a few um, embellishments that are out of stock right now. These are not, and you get like hundreds of them. And they're just, and they're white, they go with everything. They're snowflakes, so they go with any winter or Christmas um, project that you're doing. So if you can't get the other things that you want, use these snowflakes. These are great. I'm just gonna pull a few out so I can get two of the big ones. Here's a big one right here. And I'm just putting it on with a little dab of liquid glue, that's all you need. Let's put another one right there, and that's gonna hold it. And then just put these back in. I mean, literally, hundred. I don't even know how many. I would. I don't even wanna try to count, but I would say, I don't know, three, three to 400 of these. I mean, one of these will probably do all your cards for the holiday season. White loose snowflakes, awesome. Okay, give that just a second, make sure they're gonna stick. All right, now I have this. I could put it upright in here. The only thing is that it's a little wider. It's wider at the top than it is at the bottom. So I've been putting them in upside down and I just use a couple of glue dots right on the top. One right here, we'll stick another one. Kind of over here, maybe close to the rim. Is that on? Oh that to stick. Okay, I've got two on there. That should be plenty to hold it in place. So I'm going to just make sure that's centered right there. Okay, so that's, oh, that's not going anywhere. Don't push it off. All right, and then look how cute that is. We're gonna take a little bit of our red and white twine, baker's twine, and stick this under through this little space. And then tie it in a bow. Now I think this might have gone on back order. I'm not sure. If not, you know, our essentials white baker twine would work or linen thread, whatever you, well, I think linen thread's out too. It's just been crazy. But you could use white, the white baker's twine for this too. Isn't that cute? It is so cute and so easy to make. You get four of them out of a piece of cardstock and you can get plenty out of the designer paper and your other just use scraps for the rest of it. So I hope you enjoyed today's project. I'll post measurements and supplies on my blog. Um, make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my newsletter. I would love to have you um, 
get some of the, you know, make sure you don't miss out on, on sales and specials, and I'll be posting some special content just for my uh, email subscribers. So, as always, if you place an online order using the host code, I will send you some good free goodies. If it's over 150, don't bother with the host code. I'll send you free goodies anyway. All right. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by, and I will see you next time. So long.